Hello guys. J Mello, sports, news, and entertainment got a breaking news again. One of the hottest and most exciting or maybe the biggest fight this year is the Teofimo Lopez vs Vasyl Lomachenko. A weeks ago, Bob Arum offered $1.2 million to Lopez while $3.4 million to Lomachenko. However, Lopez rejected the offer because it is too low. And now, Lomachenko humbled himself to Lopez and accepted $2 million. Thus, their fight is finally official. Teofimo Lopez, whether you hate him, whether you like him, you're still gonna watch him. Why are a lot of people talking about Teofimo Lopez? He has never faced a fighter like me. Fast, quick, strong. The hottest and most exciting, or maybe the biggest fight this year is the Teofimo Lopez vs. Vasyl Lomachenko. A weeks ago, Bob Arum offered $1.2 million to Lopez, while $3.4 million to Lomachenko. However, Lopez rejected the offer because it is too low. And now, Lomachenko humbled himself to Lopez and accepted $2 million. Thus, their fight is finally official. The two sensational lightweight champions, they will face off in a unification bout October 17th on ESPN, Vasily Lomachenko against Teofimo Lopez. Lomachenko set to fight Lopez in top rank's biggest offer in pandemic despite the current pandemic that caused dramatic loss to different boxing events. Legendary promoter Bob Arum was able to ink a deal and promote the biggest fight he could assemble during this trying time, a main event bout between Vasily Lomachenko and Teofimo Lopez. Lomachenko is the unified lightweight champion while Lopez holds the IB belt. In normal condition, the bout will surely gather thousands of fans in the fight night and millions on pay-per-view. But the thing is, the big time match will only be televised on ESPN free television. This is to quench the thirst of boxing fans who wanted an attention stealer fight. That this is on ESPN, that this is not pay per view, nearly unheard of in this day and age of the way the economics of the sport has gone for the better part of the last 20 years. That it is not. Well, the notion that Lomachenko is generous enough that he just gave a quarter million dollars over to Teofimo to make it happen is not true according to... All right, let's move on to the next breaking news. David Benavides favors to win against Roamar Alexis Angulo the... Defending WBC Super Middleweight Champion David Benavides is the favorite over contender Roma Alexis Angulo as they face each other on Saturday. Benavides, who is still unbeaten, 22 wins, 19 goes, is minus 800 favorite in betting while Angulo is plus 500. However, Angulo is also on a three-fight winning streak for his 26 wins, 22 via knockout and only one defeat. Both fighters have the momentum and the young Benavides will have to look out for the veteran Angulo who has yet to get knocked out. I have to be patient. I can't just try to knock him out and leave myself open. I have confidence in my abilities and if I do everything right, I believe the knockout will come. I'm ready to give the great show to all my fans around the world, Benavides said.
And last but not the least, this is a breaking news about Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao shares plan before stepping down into boxing the 41-year-old boxing icon Manny Pacman. Pacquiao is likely to have two more fights before hanging the gloves. My idea on the big picture is he fights his fights, looks impressive, and then he gets one of the big guys out there, whoever it may be, uh, Mayweather. Pacman who has one of the most celebrated boxing career in history also revealed through his long-time trainer Freddie Roach that he wanted to have a rematch against Floyd Mayweather Jr., or a fight against Terence Crawford as his last fight before focusing on politics. Uh, Alvarez, uh, you know, get one of the big fights, fight that fight, and then that's it. I would like, man, that's my wishes, but I think... Currently, the only eight-division world champion has a lot of possible opponents on the list. They are all waiting on whether they will be chosen and march towards the biggest fight of their career. On the Mayweather rematch, Pacquiao's camp is expecting it to be hard, however, they will pursue what Pacquiao wants before finally closing the curtain on his professional boxing career. Thank you for watching. J Mello Sports News and Entertainment. What happens? Well, depending on how we go in our turn, if he looks bad in one of those fights, and I tell him to retire because he's a little bit shot and his best days are behind him, that's a different issue. But if he, if he still looks good in a, in a fight and you know hasn't lost a step and has no. Really lost any of his coordination and so forth. I mean, uh, that's where I'm, um, but we only have that deal if he slips. And if we get this fight, win, look impressive, and then get one of the big fights, um, whoever it may be, I, I would like to see, I, I would like to see it. Over. The thing is, if he doesn't slip, I still only want him to have about two more fights. So God, there's nothing else he has to prove in boxing in my mind. I mean, you know, like... Kasama ko po si Teofimo Lopez, ang contender ni Vasil Lumachenko. Abangan po niyo ang laban niya. Basta Sports, J. Mello. Basta Sports, J. Mello. Thank you. like comment and subscribe to this channel